The Imposter's Trap Snow White, the kind and gentle princess, awoke from her long sleep, her eyes opening to the bright light shining through the colorful windows of her room. She stretched in her soft sheets, feeling happy as the seven dwarfs, whistle, grumpy, happy, bashful, sleepy, sneezy, and dopey, gathered around her bed, laughing and smiling. Snow White, you're, you're back. back, we, we missed, missed you. you, they said, their eyes shining with happiness. At the same time, Little Red Riding Hood, now brave member of the Royal Guard, walked around the castle grounds, carefully observing everything. She looked and listened carefully, making sure that the kingdom was safe and peaceful. As she went on her rounds, she noticed that everyone in the castle seemed to be very excited and happy. However, unbeknownst to anyone, the evil queen was feeling very jealous and angry. She used her magic to disguise herself as Snow White and entered the castle, determined to take control and get rid of the real princess. She looked and sounded just like Snow White, fooling everyone in the castle. Little Red Riding Hood had a feeling that something was not right. She approached the imposter, a mixture of bravery and uncertainty on her face. I think something's wrong, she said, her forehead creased with worry. The imposter smirked with a mean smile, her voice filled with malice. Oh, my dear Red Riding Hood, she teased. I'm glad you finally noticed. With a wave of her hand, she conjured a swirling magic that filled the room, closing in on Snow White. Little Red Riding Hood was determined to protect Snow White from the magical trap. Little Red Riding Hood, alongside the seven dwarfs, congregated to devise a plan to expose the imposter's true identity. They decided to create a special hallway filled with magical mirrors. These mirrors possessed the ability to reveal the imposter's true form. Little Red Riding Hood spoke confidently. We need to find out who she really is. Let's create a corridor with mirrors that will unveil her true self. They worked diligently to fashion the magical mirrors, carefully placing them along the hallway. They hoped that when the imposter walked past them, her reflection would expose her true evil form. However, when the imposter reached the mirrors, she used her own magic to shatter them all. The seven dwarfs and Little Red Riding Hood were both shocked and saddened. They believed their plan had failed. Undeterred, Little Red Riding Hood pressed on. She knew there had to be another way to stop the imposter. She resolved to search the castle's secret passages and uncover the imposter's hiding place. Utilizing her knowledge of hidden tunnels, she moved stealthily throughout the castle, drawing ever closer to the imposter's location. She refused to let the imposter escape. Little Red Riding Hood, with the assistance of the kingdom's people and the prince, created a diversion. They wanted to distract the imposter from Snow White, so they made lots of noise and commotion throughout the entire castle. Plates clattered and laughter filled the air. Little Red Riding Hood seized the opportunity to reach the imposter. She stood tall and resolute, pointing at the imposter. No more tricks, queen. Your evil plans end now. In one swift motion, Little Red Riding Hood revealed the queen's true identity to the kingdom. The queen, stripped of her illusions and power, stood exposed before all. Her eyes burned with fury, her once regal demeanor crumbling in defeat. The people erupted in cheers, Snow White, finally free from the spell, rushed to Little Red Riding Hood's side. They embraced each other tightly, displaying their unwavering friendship. The kingdom celebrated their triumph, remembering the power of unity and the bravery shown by Little Red Riding Hood. They knew that good prevailed over evil. The castle resounded with laughter and smiles once more. Snow White and Little Red Riding Hood stood side by side, their faces beaming with triumph. The people of the kingdom surrounded them, filled with gratitude and joy. It was a true happily ever after for everyone.